Welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be talking about illustration portfolio websites. Um, that's a bit of a mouthful, but everyone knows why you might need an online website to kind of show off your work if you're a designer or an illustrator or any kind of artist. And personally, my website is much overdue. So I thought it'd be fun for both me to motivate me to actually work on this website. And also maybe for anyone out there who's working on their own website to go through the process of trying to refresh my site. I have one style changes I want to implement on the website just because I feel like the style of site I have right now doesn't work the best for what I want to do. And secondly, I want to put some new work on here, some stuff that I've been procrastinating adding to the site. So I'll show you what it looks like currently. Then we'll do some inspiration hunting. I've already pulled up some sites from artists that I love and tried to gather some intel from what they did and what I like about how they organize their own portfolios. And lastly, we will do the damn thing and I will update my website with you. I'll show you my screen too so you can see what's actually going on. All right, let's do it. Oh, I need a notebook. We have a notebook very long, <laughs> oblong one, and a pen. Okay. So this is my current website, and I'm gonna show you guys what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Immediately you see my name, um, a couple links at the top, and like a slideshow. So currently all my work is in this slideshow, but a lot of the work is from like the beginning of 2020 and 2019 and I have done a lot more stuff since then. I don't think I want the slideshow anymore because I kind of like the idea that someone can just scroll through and see a lot, like kind of a snapshot of everything all at once versus having to click through. And also I do like that I have the descriptions like at the bottom it says the title and then you know what everything kind of is it gives some context so I still want to do that but I also want people to be able to look at it on mobile easily because right now this site is kind of hard to look at when you're on your phone and also sometimes the images load slowly so clicking through is kind of annoying and you can kind of see the first slide like the width can be a little bit finicky. Okay, and then I have my shop, which is very simple, but I think it could be more streamlined. I'm using Squarespace, so, and I don't have the option to change that because I already paid for a year in advance. It just auto renewed. So I was thinking of using Cargo, which is another site that's really popular for portfolios and it's more geared toward I think designers and illustrators and stuff but anyway so things I like I like having a description of the work I like having a shop on my website I do want the shop to be more obvious or like special and I want it to be more mobile friendly too. One thing I do want to do is I think I want some kind of grid. So basically all the images are next to each other on the page and as you scroll down the page more images pop up. And I also like when as you scroll you can click on things and get more context because I like I said I like having the context of what the image was. So let me show you a few examples. I like how the landing page is just features of some of, I'm guessing his favorite work. And conveniently, um, I guess he's cropped them all to be the right size so that they all lay neatly. 
I don't really like when the images are too staggered and you have in one row like one that's really long and then ones that are different sizes because when you scroll to the bottom I don't like that it doesn't end evenly. And then I like when you click on the work button, he's divided it nicely into like an illustration animation and a ceramic side. Personally, I don't think I really need that. I mean, I guess, I guess I'm a printmaker, so it, actually it could be useful to have an illustration and a um, like silkscreen side to show, but separate them a little bit. So that could actually be cool. I don't know how many of you feel this way, but for me, it's really hard to divide my work into strict categories because I always feel like illustration kind of bleeds into printmaking and vice versa and stuff. So I don't know, we'll see. This site I found through Cargo. I don't know the illustrator that well, but um, the illustrator is Dominic Kesterton. I really liked how the images fit together. I like how all the images are the same length. And this is really cool where it has three vertical ones and then one really long horizontal one. If you click on them, it kind of just makes a bigger version. Juhi Yoon also, whose work is really cool, also has this grid kind of thing, except instead of everything being even, they're kind of staggered. So on her site, I really like that when you click on each of these images, it goes to a new page where you can see more information. Like this one, the caption is when you click through and then you can see maybe more images of the same thing. Like for example, this one, it's really nice because you can see all of the different illustrations together. This is something I really want to do. Some of the editorial stuff I've done that's in a magazine, I do want to be able to take a picture of the actual magazine so you can kind of see what it, the end product ended up looking like. And yeah, I like that it's just very simple. So I think I'm pretty much set on the grid style website. I think I prefer being able to see like three things at a time. Um, it's just enough to not be too cluttered, but also um, it gives some variety. So it makes me want to keep looking at the website. I may take this less is more approach of trying not to cram too much work into one website because I want people to be able to focus on one thing at a time. So maybe if I have three by three, it could be better to have maybe 12 projects total up here. Welcome back. So if you can tell behind me, we have quite the jungle in here right now. There are a couple new plants and I have some new acquisitions to show you too from a couple days ago. Okay. This is a book about Japanese playgrounds that I found at Post Poetics in Hanamdong. And it has a bunch of articles in French, which I'm excited to read. It has a lot of cool pictures that I think are going to be fun to sketch in the sketchbook. I really like looking for books that have um, interesting references and like kind of strange things in them more than books from other artists um, as much as I like those too. But I did get a little art zine from G. Choi from this year's Unlimited Edition. Um, it was an art book fair 
last month and there's just a bunch of cute pictures of people lying down. It's just whimsical and fun and not too serious. So very cute. And now it's time to work on the website. So I did do some planning ahead of time and I have a Illustrator document to show you guys. So let's open that up first. So my Illustrator document, I told you guys I wanted to do the grid. And so I made a grid in Illustrator and have just been playing around with where to place my different illustrations for my portfolio. So I have them all gathered here. You can see there's some off to the side too. And I've just been arranging them, kind of seeing what ratios work. I don't want to do squares for every single picture. So I think I'll mix in some longer pictures too, especially because some things just don't work well when they're cut off. And I think that this layout will work really well too for if I want to change things around, I can just change one photo versus um, redoing the whole page. And then if you scroll to the side, you can kind of see I laid out ideas of different pages and what I would put on them. But I think I'm gonna change that and just do something a bit more simple, have all of the square links just kind of lead to a detail page with a little blurb and some more pictures. And I just think that'll let people easily see some more details about a project versus trying to scroll through more and more pages. I think it'll just be easier to navigate. So now on to Squarespace. I just like to lay it out in Illustrator because it gives me a better idea of what to do. But I'm keeping the same template in Squarespace as I had before. I'll put the name here. I think there's templates that specifically look like this, but I kind of just didn't want to deal with changing everything over. So instead you can see I have just put in blocks, like different image blocks and made them into links. You can do this by in Squarespace, you make a new page. I just titled this one home when I was making it and I just insert a block. Um, that's a picture. At first it takes up the whole page and then I just put in two more and put them side by side. So I have three in a row and that's basically how I built the grid page. Super simple. And you can see if you hover over it, the opacity changes a little bit and then you can see a bigger picture and some of the photos from the magazine for this illustration series, for example. This one, if you click on it, you also have the big picture and a little caption of what it's from. And yeah, I don't need to have tons of pictures for every one, but it kind of gives you flexibility like if I want to have one picture or a lot or whatever. So here's the image blocks and I'll show you guys the settings I used. You can edit or replace the picture super easily too, which is nice. And then I don't have any caption, but I do have a link. So I made the separate page with the bigger picture and I just linked it to this small picture. And then to make the hover effect, I used a little bit of custom CSS. So I'll show you guys my code that I used. Basically, if there is a link, as you can see, it's 100% opacity. And if it is a hover, when you hover over that picture link, it becomes 30% opacity. So you can stop the video here and copy that code or you can adjust it to your own wishes if you wanna use that. I already made a couple of the pages, but a lot of the links, like half of them, I haven't done at all yet. Okay, so let's make a new page and I'll show you guys what I'm kind of doing. I'm gonna title this one Fabric Prints and I am just gonna first add an image block with a little plus sign image. And then the nice thing too about Squarespace is it saves all the earlier images you used. So I have a lot of pictures here that I used in my original shop. Um, I was selling these fabric prints, or I am still selling these fabric prints. So they're up in the shop. So I already have the pictures. First, it's really big. So just keep adding pictures and then you can arrange them after you add them all. Okay, so now you can kind of see I have them side by side, but the heights of them are a little bit off. They're all a little bit different. So 
I'm just gonna change this by going into Photoshop and editing them a little bit first. And I had to do this with a lot of my illustrations just to make sure they fit nicely in the website. So you might have to spend a little time tinkering with the crop tool or with Photoshop, but nothing too serious. Okay, and after I crop all of my pictures, this is what the page looks like. Um, I put in a little caption explaining a little bit more about it, and that's pretty much it. So let's move on to the shop side. Since the website itself is pretty simple, another thing I wanted to change besides my portfolio was my shop. I wanted to try out a couple of new features and even a new shop platform, so we can talk about it a little bit. First of all, shops that I like, I found were pretty simple and straightforward, which is good for me. I mean, I don't really need that much. I just need it to be well organized. So for example, this shop, I like how it just has the hover effect. You can see other things. Or on this one, you can see the menu at the top. Or in this one, it has a little bit more info and some different interesting blocks and information. So first of all, I did really want to try out this feature from Linktree, which is they now allow you to have commerce links. So you can add your shop directly in there. So to do this, you have to use Shopify. And I wanted to try out Shopify anyway. That is the site that Hayden Park uses and I really like her shop, how it's organized. Yeah, I wanted to try out that platform. So I went on to Shopify and I just added all my inventory, all my pictures and the price and whatever. Okay, so this is my old website shop. So I have added a couple things because one thing I did want to change is I wanted to provide digital download options so that people could print the work when they are, you know, obviously not in Seoul and they can't pick up prints from me. And also because it's really hard to ship things right now, I kind of open my store when shipping became a bit more difficult because of COVID. So I thought this was something I could try out and if it doesn't work out, no problem, but I thought I would at least give it a try. So here is the old shop, which is just on my Squarespace website. But Shopify, I like that it has a lot more options. So let's go ahead and I haven't made the main page. I've just uploaded all of the inventory. Then I think I want to put in a few different featured collections or basically just these three categories that I have but on the main page so people can kind of see it at a glance and then like look at more and choose the one they want if they want to look at more stuff. Now that we have the Shopify store made, I'm gonna add this to my link tree. So I'll add a commerce link and I'll just title, I'll title it shop, which is what I had before. I'm just gonna exchange the shop. For thumbnail, they have all these cute icons that you can see I've been using. So I'm just gonna choose one from their list that they have. Okay, so now I have to connect the store. So in my settings, I already added like my PayPal, you can also add a Shopify, so I added Shopify. And then I put the provider, Shopify collection. I wanna feature, I have three different categories to choose from, but I'm gonna go with the digital printables. You can feature six products at a time, and I only have six things in this category, so it kinda works out perfectly. I'm gonna turn off my old shop, and for this shop, when you click on, you can kind of see this preview on the side. When you click the down button, you can see all of the offers. And when you click that, it will just go to the shop. And I'm gonna make this link priority so it will have this kind of animation. You can make one priority link at a time. 
and I'm gonna make it um, wobble and just I kind of like how it gets your attention when you look at it a little bit more that's gonna be my link tree done I'll show you guys on my phone how it looks I think it's nice to have these like redirects so everything feels a little bit more connected so okay let's go over final drum roll for the website it's finished so I have all my pages here you click on them you get bigger pictures you click on other ones you get gifs um, super flexible and I know I can change it out super easily because I do have more work coming out soon so I'll just add that in and then the shop again Shopify simple have all my different categories here and then I have also on my website an info page I just changed the picture of it and a contact form if people want to send me an email through my website and that is it um, if you guys want to try out any of the services I mentioned like Linktree has the new commerce link so if you want to try that out um, I'll link all of the things below and I will see you guys next time have a great day and hopefully I will see you much sooner than later bye